sheep heart dissection. Watch your feet. Here I have a sheep heart. I'm gonna dissect the sheep heart. I'm gonna take you through all the different chambers. Um, on our hearts, you have this layer of fat. Here it's a protective layer. It's called the pericardium. It's a fluid-filled sac that surrounds the heart and keeps the heart functioning properly. When you take off this fat little membrane, all right, you see, I could stretch it. It's pretty tight. I could poke through it. My finger is not going to go through it. Um, so this is a pretty important layer of our heart. I'm going to toss that aside. Here, we can see some fat areas on our heart, and then we have our muscular areas on our heart as well. The fat layers protect the heart from this uh, pericardium. Um, so it's, it doesn't wear down too much. Here, um, imagine looking at, again, this is a sheep heart. Imagine looking at the sheep or even looking at a person. This is going to be the right side and this is going to be the left side. So I might throw you off a little bit. Here, I have the right oracle. I have the left oracle. I have the apex of the heart, the apex or the tip. And then up on top here, I have the base of the heart. And when I turn around, we're going to see a couple different arteries and a couple different veins as well that make their way into the heart and make their way out of the heart. So let me walk you through this. Uh, here I have um, the interventricular sulcus. Uh, this separates the right from the left side of the heart. I'm already made an incision going all the way around the heart. So when I open this up, this is what we're looking at right now. Here I have, when blood flows in, oh, let's see. Here I have my right chambers, and then here I have my left chambers. In total, there's four different chambers to the heart. Um, this side, your right side, is for pumping to your lungs. Your left side of the heart is for pumping to your arteries. Here, um, in the middle, I have my septum, and there's a bunch of tissue, and this is going to separate both of the chambers. So there is no cross, um, there's no blood that could cross uh, between the two. Also on the left side of the heart, I have a, a thicker muscle on this side. So let me get into why this is so thick in a moment. Here, I have my right atrium. I have my right atrium and that goes up and it's, the blood's going to be deoxygenated. There's going, going to be no blood, excuse me, no oxygen in this area, in the right atrium. And then it's going to dump down into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it's going to exit the heart and then go to the lungs where it's going to drop off carbon dioxide and pick up some oxygen. So let's look at the path that this takes. So from my right atrium, my right atrium, blood's entering through the right atrium. It's going to get staged into the right ventricle, and then the blood is going to leave. The blood is going to leave through my pulmonary artery. Veins go to the heart, arteries go away from the heart. So I'm in my pulmonary artery, and pulmonary has to do with the lungs. So this artery here, going away from the heart, has carbon dioxide in the blood cells. It's going to go to my lungs. It's going to drop off the CO2. It's going to pick up O2. And then we travel to the other side of the heart. Now, on the left side of the heart, I have, again, two more chambers. I have my left atrium and I have my left ventricle. From the left atrium, blood is going to come through the pulmonary vein, so blood's traveling through, oxygenated rich blood is going to come through, and then blood is going to leave. Blood is going to exit through the aorta. The blood's gonna exit through the aorta and dump off all the oxygenated rich blood to all of your extremities. Travels all throughout your body, your brain, your arms, your legs, your kidneys, your liver, wherever it needs to go. Now, this is important that this side of the heart has a bigger muscle than this side. Here, on the right atrium, blood only needs to flow to your lungs. And your lungs are close by. Your lungs are gonna be right behind the heart and it's gonna be on both sides. Whereas the left side of the heart, 
this area of the heart is responsible for fueling oxygen to the rest of your body. So imagine where your heart is, dead center in your chest. So the heart has to be able to pump all the blood from your right, from your left ventricle all throughout your body. So it's a lot longer way to travel. Some other things about the heart, you have some valves on the inside. This is gonna be your tricuspid valve. And then on the other side, on the left side of the heart, you're gonna have your bicuspid valve. These are gonna be trap doors that are gonna open and close. So when you feel your heart beating or you hear that lub dub sound inside of your heart, it's the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves that are opening and closing and letting blood flow in and out of your heart. Um, that's about it. That's all I got. Sheep heart, 